Right. Um, actually, there was something um, in terms of uh, games that I actually um, totally left out quite big. I got myself a um, a 3DS XL um, some time ago, actually, back in uh, like probably around May sometime, um, and uh, got myself some games for it. Um, I haven't actually played it in in a little while. Um, I have a uh, I've had myself busy with a uh, the other games that I'm going to talk about soon, but I got myself. Uh, Mario Kart 64, or <laughs> Mario Kart 7, <laughs> um, which is very fun, um, I'm a generation behind at this point, because, uh, Mario Kart 8 came out, but, um, 7 was really cool, like, uh, the 3DS in general, like, uh, a review of it, the 3D, I think, is really cool, um, I think the graphics are definitely... Like, I haven't played a, um, like, an actual DS in a while, but, um, like, the, there's, like, the aliasing on the graphics or whatever makes it look like, um, makes the graphics often look like they're on, like, a regular DS, but the 3D itself is really, like, cool. Um, like, it, t- like it took me a while to sort of, like, actually find it, and, um actually, like, really know what, um, I'm supposed to be doing, but, like, once you get, like, that sort of sweet spot where, of, like, the screen, with, of, like, the distance and stuff, like, the three of those look really cool, um, and I don't really, ha- I don't really have the problem, like, I, I, a lot of people say that, like, it hurts their eyes and stuff, I've never really had that, um, I got myself, a uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf, which I actually have not really cared for, um, that whole, I never actually played in Animal Crossing, um, from what I understand, I, I might be more suited to a Harvest Moon, maybe, because, uh, the, the whole, like, time thing, I don't really, like, only being able to do so much in one day, doesn't really suit me very well. Um, and I also got Zelda Link Between Worlds, which um, I've uh, started, but I haven't really uh, played too much of it because um, I got myself uh, wrapped up. Okay, my microphone keeps going in front of my face because I need to be speaking into it. I've I've got myself uh, occupied with um, other games that uh, I'm about to talk about, and also you may have noticed um, for people that have uh, seen me on my vlog channel, you uh, you'll know that my hair is a good bit shorter than it usually has been. Um, and one thing also, if if you want to add me on, I, I'll put my friend code in the comments of, of, uh, or in the description of this video, you can add me, but, um, you can notice my hair is a bit shorter than it, than it's usually been in my past videos, um, I want to say about, about a month, month or two ago, I actually, it started off, first, I, uh, I just gave myself a haircut, um, because, uh, I, I talked about it, like, um, at one point, where I was getting at the point where, like, it was always, like, going in one direction, and but I had to always brush it to the other direction, and, um, I just wasn't really digging it, and there was so much upkeep and hassle with it, and, um, it was so asymmetrical to the point where, um, when I looked at myself in the mirror, I thought I looked alright, but in photographs and whatnot, because, um, of the video thing, I am always kind of looking at myself, um, from, like, mirror, from mirror image and, like, other like, what other people are seeing, and, um, in photographs and whatnot, I sort of looked really, I felt I looked bad, but, uh, I, I know that that's, like, an actual, like, that's, like, a psychological sort of phenomenon, where, um, it's just that our brain is used to the mirror image or something, so it makes the other image look weird, um, so it might have just been me, but, um, just in general, really, I, I, I was just thinking, 
that like the hassle and everything of it was uh, getting too heavy. So one day I actually gave myself a haircut and uh, I cut it to like about what it is right now, maybe like a little bit longer. But then the next day I, I, I kind of decided like this isn't like this isn't enough. If I'm going to go for it, I need to go for it. And the next day I actually like cut it or whatever again um, with like an even shorter um, like rate, like a shaver type thing. And then I just totally like got um, your uh, razor blades or whatever and totally cut it bald. And so I was actually like a bald fella for a couple days, like like dead to the scalp bald, um, which is actually pretty cool. Like um, I would say that the actual baldness was a bit weird. Like my head actually was fairly... For as much as, like, I sort of had thought before, my head was actually kind of nicely shaped. Um, and there was, like, this really kind of, like, really soft spot on the top of my head, like, right here, that it was really fun to rub. And it's, like, it's amazing, like, when you're bald, it's amazing how much you actually sort of, uh, take for granted that, um, touches your head that you don't actually realize, because, um, there was, a uh, I remember going out on the rain at some point, and um, it wasn't raining, it was like a very, very, very light drizzle, to the point where if you have hair, if you have any amount of hair, you're not going to feel it at all, but I went out there bald, and every little speckle, every little speckle on my head, and it felt so cool, so like I would actually say, my advice to the viewers Go bald at some point in your life. Like, um, at some point, male or female, I, I think that it's actually a feeling that needs to be experienced. Like, um, like it's sort of like, like the same sort of vein as, like, nudists, I suppose, of, like, wanting to, like, go free or whatever. Like, um, I don't really get into the nudism, but, like, if, uh, if there were, like, a, like a group of people... Like, said, like, we're not going to have hair because, like, we want our he our scalps to be, like, free with nature. I say go for it. Like, it actually does feel really nice. But I'm, I'm rambling now, so I'm actually going to um, turn to the actual point of the video, which is uh, talking about the games I've been playing. Gaming-wise, um, ooh, we're pretty progressive, apparently. Um, Valve, or Steam and, Steam and GOG, like, did their whole summer sales, and so, there were a lot of uh, really cheap games. I didn't actually really get too much, like, in comparison to, um, other months that, um, like, other, other, uh, Steam sales that have, like, happened, um... Honestly, like, it's mainly just, like, a big first-world problem of, a. Uh, there aren't that many games that, like, were on sale that I don't already own. Which is a bit funny. But, um, there was... I got... I got, like, a couple stuff. Um, a couple things. But, um, namely, two things that I, that I was interested in. I got Europa Universalis 4, and this. Um, at the time that I got them both, I was thinking that um, this would be like, be like, a, like a, a, a cute little thing to like mess around in. <laughs> but uh, Europa Universalis 4 would be like the main thing that I sort of got into. Because like pictures that I had seen of it, like um, I'm really in, I, I like maps. And uh... I, I like seeing, like, uh, like, maps over time as, like, an empire expands and builds and, and like, falls and stuff like that. And, like, historical maps of, like, this is the Roman Empire in, like, uh, 30 AD. This is the Roman Empire in 100 AD and all that. And, um, like, Europa Universalis IV, like, kind of, like, does some really cool stuff with, like, the maps and whatnot. And, um, so I was sort of, like... Wanting to get into it. And, uh... 
thinking that it, these were sort of... I guess I felt that EU4 would be more like this, would be more like Civilization, and I thought that Civilization would be more like your EU4 for some reason. And so uh, it turns out uh, that um, Europa Universalis was a lot more... Um, What's the word? Um, uh, like micromanagey that that I thought, and uh, like there was, there was a lot more like focus on numbers and all that, and uh, like really like really complicated stuff that t will take you. You'll need to actually kind of spend a good bit of time with it to um. To actually really know what you're doing. Whereas this is like just kind of like a board game. And uh, I would probably say that like I've had this for maybe two, three weeks. And um, I think I've got like 80. I think I've finished three games. Um, one is the Iroquois. One is the uh, Zulu. And one as the Shoshone. And I actually beat it. Um, I, I got the science victories, the Shoshone, last night. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? And like, okay, yeah, I, I've uh, played three games of it. And I think I've got like 81 hours spent or something like that. On my like on my Steam profile, ooh Samoa. Kamehameha to you too. I've got like about eighty-one hours, and for most games, like on my Steam list, if I have. If, um, in general, if I've got, like, if I've got, like, more than 20 hours on a game or whatever, chances are we'll get an embassy for him so I can see his capital. Oh, Honolulu. If I've got more than 20 hours, chances are I haven't actually spent that time. Chances are that it's actually because uh, I've just like idled or like taken a nap while playing a game or something because I, I, I often do that. But with this, practically all 81 hours have actually just been me playing the game. Like, it is, it is addicting. It is really addicting. Um, we don't really have any wheat or bananas, so it's kind of pointless. Well, we'll get some wheat though, so I might as well. What unit needs ores? Okay. Um... I mean, it's just really fun. Like, I'll, I'll definitely think about, like, doing some videos on this sometime. Um, I think it could be, I think it could be really cool. Um, the it definitely gets very slow towards the end, though. Got, uh, Sasa. I'm not really sure how you would say that. The, the, uh, LH is a bit, is a weird thing I actually think that might be somewhere in uh, I'm gonna am I gonna I'm gonna probably gonna be wrong here I think that might be somewhere like around Indonesia
Because uh, I had... Ooh. It's a Great Barrier Reef. I was playing a game yesterday, my, my Shoshone game. I was playing this weird mod that like, had like a whole bunch of civilizations. It wasn't... Like, there's one mod that, like, lets you play with all 40-some civilizations, and they're all in their, like, historic places. But I think that would be way too overcrowded. But uh, the one I, I played with was, like, uh, 22 civilizations, and uh, Laza here was there. And I want to say they were, like, around in, in Indonesia. I can't remember, though, for certain. But, yeah, like, the games here, like, the turns in the beginning, like... Everything is going real fast, but it goes it gets super slow later on as like as you're actually like commanding a whole bunch of units in every turn. And like the turns themselves, like as the AI's like commanding a bunch of units. And um all that. So I I hope it would be entertaining. But it it'll, it'll definitely be something that I, I would I think could be kinda of fun to do. And then I've I've been sort of getting back into a mountain blade, um, which is what I was playing uh, before this. I I did a I did like a video or two of mountain blade back in twenty eleven when I was like properly playing it, and then I uh, I was I started playing it again like a few months ago, but I got I got out of it, but then um, the fella Mathis Games is a let's player. He's like been doing a let's play. Um, so we've got, let's get, um, can my scout embark now? Nice. Alright, so let's uh, get him on to land. Is that a cargo ship, I guess? Yeah, Mathis Games is a let's player that's uh, been doing Mountain Blade. He's gotten me back into it. I found out about him through uh, Northern Lion. People may have heard of him. Mm, my people are well fed. Pakal's not doing too good with the food. So that's about it for like gaming wise, I guess. Oh god, freaking I put my fellas. Oh man. Valletta, you, you really are in some some doo doo. But uh, when will videos actually return? Hopefully soon. Like um, like like I've said, like I really am just like kind of in this little summer vacation type thing. Um, like there is some other stuff too. Like there's uh, been some weird, ooh, Colombo. I believe that's a city. I want to say that's a city in the Sri Lanka. Uh, well, let's let's get out of here. Seriously. Let's send our warriors across, actually. Help, help our scouts out. Well, this is pretty cool though, like the uh, little, this archipelago map, like uh, everyone sort of got like, like the maps are end up looking pretty good. If people care, I could actually upload, I, I have, um, I've uploaded, cause like I was like showing friends and stuff, but they're unlisted, I've uploaded um, replays of like all my other games of this. If people are interested, I could like show them. Or something like I could like make them public. Ooh, Kathmandu. Ooh, 
Ooh, warrior. See, like, we're already on turn 78 or whatever. We probably haven't been playing, like, 10 minutes. Whereas, like, set, like, um, 10 minutes, like, in, in late game, 10 minutes is, like, two turns or something. Well, hopefully, like videos will actually resume soon, and hopefully, I'll actually get back, get get back on track with um my sort of like other projects that I've been doing, like uh my vlogging channel. Um, if people don't know, um, my vlogging channel I've, I've like linked below in all my videos. Um, I was a uh, I originally had this thing where I was going to like do like question and answers every week, but then I like just kind of like changed it, you know, like questions and answers every once in a while, but I don't think I've really messed with that in a while. And then I was also, I was going to, I started this thing, I was actually really enjoying it, or uh, I was uh, reading the King James Bible, but I've not actually done a video in, of that in some time. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll get back to everything. Because uh, I know people keep commenting on my videos and all that. And, uh, actually, I, like, had, I'm going to, like, help tell an anecdote here. It's going to sound, might sound sort of, uh, conceited. Um, hopefully not. Um. I normally think this is a waste, but I really want to get these, uh, barbarians killed. So I'm going to heal myself. Um, you well, know, I, I, not to sound conceited or whatever, but, um, I was, um, like I was saying, I've been watching, uh, Mathis Games' is, uh, Mountain Blade, let's play, oh god, they're actually pretty strong. Okay, to get the uh, message here saying, like, not our finest hour. Some elephants over there. Okay, so... So, there wasn't actually much point of coming here. Let's actually get, um... You want to actually, like, scout out an island that's sort of... Big. Sure. But like he usually, like he usually uh, uploads his videos at like a uh, fairly late at night, and um, there was a a point where I had like caught up on them all. Oh god, we're gonna die! Oh, And um, I was like waiting for uh, an upload from him, but he didn't. He ended up not uploading one day. And I was sort of let down, and so I, I sort of thought to myself, like, it not to sound like, not to sound weird, but I thought to myself, like, I wonder, like, if that's how people feel when I go without uploading for a while. So I'm gonna try to like return to it sometime because uh like I've got like a lot of stuff that I really do want to do. Oh, we have not. That's not the best of a uh, situations. Can give me open borders, please. Oh, we don't even have the technology to do open borders. That's embarrassing.
because like I've got like so many games or whatever that I do want to do, and like I really do enjoy like making the videos. Um, just finding the time to do it can be a bit difficult sometimes, and uh, all that. So hopefully, like, um, perhaps within the next week or so, I'll, uh, try to get myself back into, um, getting content out there with, with all of my Let's Plays, and then, who knows, maybe, like, I'll get back into, um, ooh, who's that? Maria of Portugal. Like, Portugal's one of those um, people that, like, in that map I was talking about that has, like, all civilizations and all that. Like, I think Portugal, Portugal would be, um, end up getting screwed real hard because, um, like, they would be, like, right next to Spain and it, like, Spain expands, like, quickly enough, like, uh, Portugal would basically just be, like, kind of, like, walled off by Spain. I guess, like, that's sort of how it is in real life, but still a bit suckish. So here's Portugal. So, oh man, so we've already sort of... So the map's pretty, pretty wide, it seems. I probably won't actually end up, like, really doing anything with this game, like I said. Like, uh... When I, I found that w when I finish a game of, a uh, Civ V, I need to... I need to take a, a couple days off to, like, sort of, like, rest from it, because, like, it is really exhausting. Hopefully I'll, I'll get back to um the videos. Hopefully I'll get back to on um, my vlog channel and actually like doing the whole uh, Bible reading thing. Because that was something like when I started, I was actually like really sort of like excited, like uh, saying like I'm really like the first fella to like like non-professional fella to like just like read the Bible on video, but uh I haven't really done anything with it. But yeah, I guess I'm going to call it there. Um, hopefully everyone's uh, having a good summertime. I'll, I'll save it just because uh, just in case I do kind of go back to it. And um, I'll play the replay actually of my Pocatello game because I'm actually really proud of myself. So here I am. See, like, this is, like, 22 civilizations. Like, if Spain's right here, like, if Portugal was, like, right next to them, like, that would just be, like, so crammed. I think, um, over the course of the game, I think, um, France, Egypt, Germany, and Greece here all ended up dying eventually. I, I was lucky enough to not to have to go to war at all because um because I am so sort of isolated over here and like Europe gets so packed. Let's see them all. Let's see everyone get up to it. I ended up like a, I I really do like a, sort of colonizing the world. Um, my borders. Span, exp, like expand uh, far and wide. Some fun stuff. It's a fun little game. Like um, 
I'm not really good at like real time strategies at all. And so like a turn based thing like this is like really like what I need. Because it's just like a little board game sort of. It's really cool. I think without too much context though like this is like probably like really hard to follow. Like it's just like colors on a screen really. That's like what, what I'm saying when I cause like you look at like this or whatever and it's not really that fun to look at but uh like you look at like um like, like a like Europa Universalis again like, like how the maps look so cool and like kind of professional. Like they were done like by like real uh, cartographers or something. Yeah, there goes uh, there goes Greece. I think yeah, Greece eventually. Greeks like took a portion of Arabia, and then got eventually wiped out, and then here goes Germany, Sweden. Rome and Spain all like, like I think like, Russia, Sweden, Rome and Spain like all just like, ganged up on Germany. A bit harsh. Like uh, at the end here, yeah, I, I had colonies and I had like basically all of Western North America. I had Australia here, Indonesia, little little part of Indonesia. Indonesia didn't really do too, too really didn't really do too good. Like, I think, like, by the time I finished, I was, like, in the information age. I think Indonesia was, like, still in the Renaissance. Um, India. Um. I want to say this would be Oman. And, uh, I think this would be, like, uh. Yeah, I think this would, this would be Russia. Wasn't much uh, colonization like from other people. Um, Rome sort of got this little area out here for whatever reason, and then then like Rome established a colony on northern South America. Zulu got little southern tip of uh, Chile and Argentina. Um, Spain got a colony out here in a. Like the frozen wastes of uh, Nunavut, for whatever reason. I think uh, you can't really tell it too much here, cause like everything looks just looks so bloated. But um, I think um, by the end here, I think um, I think England had like a bit of France, and then like Spain like took it from them at some point. Like Spain got a bunch of Northern Africa. Like, Spain was a really, really big, big warmonger. Like, Spain and Rome, like, were just at war with everybody. It's pretty good. And, um, if I do, uh, get my new camera lens soon, hopefully I'll actually, um, I'll show it off and, like, post more of the pictures that I, that I, that I take and whatnot, because, uh, I've been sort of getting into that. It's been pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, look it out.